guys, it has been a hot minute since I've talked about some of my empty products. So I thought it was about time for me to share with you what I thought about my most used products. I am going to be talking about this bottle, which I'm already swinging around. This is from Clinique. This is their Liquid Facial Soap Mild. And I have to say, this is my very favorite mild facial soap. Like it's just really basic, especially if my skin is acting up or going crazy. This just helps everything feel really clean, but not overly stripped. Like I definitely don't have that painful, squeaky tight feeling after I use this, but I do feel like my skin is nice and clean and it just does its job. I've gone through countless bottles of this. Like I can't even tell you I've used it for years and it's just a really good go-to face wash. <laughs> it's a really low Large size. It's a clear kind of soap, not like cream based. It's for dry combination skin. So if your skin does happen to be drier or more sensitive, then I highly recommend checking this one out. Next, I wanted to talk about a skin moisturizer. And this one is from Curel. It's called Hydrotherapy Wet Skin Moisturizer. And I have gone through actually a couple bottles of this as well. I really like this because it's actually the kind where you can put it on when your skin is still wet right after you take a shower. I feel like because I, you know, don't want to spend too much time with my whole pampering routine anymore. I do have a baby and, you know, my life gets really crazy. And so when I can just combine steps, like putting on my lotion, literally while I'm still in the shower, stepping out, drying everything, just putting my clothes straight on, I really like condensing that part of the routine. And this one is really great because it makes my skin so super soft and it doesn't have any scent. So if I'm feeling extra sensitive or if my nose just doesn't like certain scents, I have a pretty sensitive nose. So I just like the fact that it's really kind of basic and doesn't irritate my skin. So this is something that I've just been using basically every time I shower and I really like it because when your skin's already wet and you put lotion on, it just goes on really quickly. Next, I wanna talk about this big baddie. This is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus, and it's just one of those super old school products that's been around forever, and there's definitely a reason why. It's because it is just the best super standard yellow moisturizer out there. It comes in a really generous container, so it lasts a really long time. And again, if my skin is just sort of acting up or I just need a really, really basic routine, then this is what I go for. So this particular kind is for a very dry to dry combination skin. So if you do happen to be really oily, then maybe you'll want something a little more gel textured. For me, I'm in my 30s now. I feel like my skin has definitely gotten drier now over time. This has been sort of a really good standard go-to. Again, when I just really want to simplify my routine, which I feel like has been the better part of the last couple of years for me, especially when I was pregnant and breastfeeding, I didn't want anything that had too many irritating properties that might be bad for babies. It's not scented. It doesn't have too many crazy ingredients. It's just really basic and does its job. Speaking of skincare, this is going to come as no surprise. People who have followed me for a while know that SK2's facial treatment essence is something I literally use like twice a day, every single day. So this is another completely empty bottle. It's just been something I've been using for years and years and years. It's a staple part in my routine. Basically, it's the first step after washing your face before you put on any moisturizer. It's kind of like a watery texture and you just kind of pat it into your skin and it helps prep your skin for all of the moisture layers to penetrate even deeper. Especially in the wintry months, if my skin is getting a little bit more dehydrated, I make sure not to ever skip this step. Hence, another empty bottle. I feel like the Patera essence works really well with my skin. This is another product that I used throughout pregnancy, breastfeeding, all of that. I don't think there's anything personally irritating in it that caused any problems with my skin. So this is just another basic for me that I love using every day. Next, I wanted to talk about a hair product. This is going to be kind of interesting for me because I'm very particular about the dry shampoos I use and 99% of the time I hate dry shampoos that come in an aerosol can. This is literally my one exception. I love this one. This is by Living Proof. It's called Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. My husband and I are both obsessed with this, which is probably the reason why we ran through it so quickly. I think we've actually gotten maybe two or three bottles of this and every time I just get so sad when it has like the empty air sound, you know? Nothing more coming out. It doesn't 
leave that sticky feeling that most aerosol can dry shampoos have. And it just makes my skin feel so fresh and clean in a way that I really feel like I rarely get in another dry shampoo. It is a little bit on the whitish side, so you do have to kind of work it in if you have darker hair, but it's not like impossible to get rid of. The one downside, just like I said again, is you're gonna love it and go through it really fast. So compared to just getting a bottle of powder, it does go through quickly. Next, I wanted to talk about the MAC brush cleaner. And it's actually funny that I'm now talking about this as an empty because I've had this particular container probably for like four years. For some reason, when I want to wash my brushes, I feel like it's just so much easier for me to grab like a baby shampoo or one of those solid brush soaps. That's kind of been what I've been doing more often lately. But I had this sitting in my cabinet for such a long time. I was like, oh, I really need to get through it. So I finally emptied it. It smells nice. It works works well. Unfortunately, I just feel like in order to get my brushes really sudsy and clean to the level that I want it to be, I go through a lot of the products. If I were to get a brush cleaner, I don't think I would repurchase this, but that's not to say it doesn't work well as a good product, especially if you're in a situation where you're not necessarily able to run to a sink right away. It's watery enough that I feel like you can get away with just like wetting it on your brush and using a paper towel like in a dire circumstance. I could go either way with it. It's nice, it's not my favorite. Moving on, I wanted to talk about the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream Moisturizer. This has kind of really beautiful packaging. I love the color of it, this like beautiful lavender color. You just squeeze this and then a little bit of product comes out the top, which is nice and hygienic. You don't have to be dipping your fingers into an opened product. I really like this moisturizer. It's very thick, very creamy. If you have more or acnegenic or oily skin, I would avoid this because it is on the heavier side, but if you do have dry skin, this is like a cool drink of water. I do find that if I've been having several days in a row where my skin is really feeling that tight pulling kind of feeling, if I just use this for like three or four days, it really changes the whole moisture balance of my skin. So it's not something that I've been using day in and day out, but definitely for a few weeks at a time, during times that I need it. For my skin, if I use really heavy products for a long time, my pores will just get a little bit blocked up. I really love using this in combination with the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil. I'll do that first and then this, and it just seems to lock everything in which is really, really amazing. I also wanted to mention this C Firm A Day Serum, which I'm on like my second or third container of it as well. I love this packaging. I love that you twist it for the little top part to slide up. And I also like that it's a really opaque container because that's what you wanna see with vitamin C product. It's not photo stable, so you need to make sure it's in a completely sealed container so that it doesn't disturb the vitamin C from working better over time. This one is 15% L-ascorbic acid and it has pumpkin ferment extract and it says it firms and brightens. I feel like when I use this continually, I do see a little bit of a lightening of my hyperpigmentation and just overall a little bit more brightness in my skin. So it's a really great option if you're looking for a vitamin C serum. I just love everything Drunk Elephant makes and this is definitely no exception. I think this was maybe even one of the first products from them that I tried and I've been very, very happy happy with it. Here's another oldie but goodie. This is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. I cannot tell you how many of these I have gone through and this year I went through another little container of these. I have been lately using the shade Light, but there are a couple different shades that I can get away with from the Bare Minerals lineup. They have some golden beigey shades that also work really well if you have yellow undertones. I'm someone who is very, very breakout prone. I definitely break out out hormonally and I feel like for every stage of my life I've had breakouts and so any kind of foundation product I can use and not have to worry about my breakouts getting worse during those periods of time is kind of priceless for me. I don't necessarily think mineral makeup is for everyone in every situation. It's not necessarily the most red carpet ready makeup because it does have some flashback when you're using it for film and photography. However, for every everyday use 
It's so fast to apply and looks so natural and doesn't cause me extra breakouts. I just feel like that's so irreplaceable in my personal routine. I can just apply it so, so quickly. And if you're a mom or if you're just a busy person or a student, you know how priceless that is. So basically I just use this powder first, put it all over my face, and then I'll use their mineral veil to sort of set it. I go through a lot more of this because I need more coverage with the colored product though. So yes, a huge, huge recommendation it's still a favorite product that I've just used for so many years. Next, I wanted to talk about probably my most used brow product this year. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, and you can tell because the packaging, it has this really sharp tip at one end. The bad thing is that the product is so tiny that you do go through it fairly quickly, depending on how full you fill in your brows. But if you're someone like me where you already have some brows, but you just want to really fill in any bald areas and have it be really natural little strokes, I feel like the small brow pencil pencils are so key because versus a really big one where it doesn't have the little like hair like strokes that you can fill in I really love the tiny little tip on this one plus it also has the built-in spoolie on the opposite side so you can just blend that through your brows and make everything look nice and natural and blended in and soft I love this the shade I use is number three which I feel like works really well if you want a more natural brow look if you have black hair four is also really great for my hair color as well. If you have black hair and you want a little more fierce brow, go for a four. <laughs> Finally, I just kind of wanted to throw this in at the end because it's such a great product. It's not necessarily for me, it's actually what I've been using on my baby, Aria. This is one of my favorite body washes I've used. This is by Baby Pibu and it's called Pibu's Bath Time Wash. The reason I love this so much is because of the scent. It's lavender scented and I don't know if you guys have I've tried lavender honey ice cream, but it just became such an addiction during my last pregnancy that every time I smell it, it just gives me the best nostalgic feelings. And every time I would use this body wash on Aria, it just has such great memories with it. So I used this religiously. I had a travel size one too, and I definitely want to repurchase this just to have that scent back. I know it's a mommy product, but I just had to include it. I think it's a really, really fantastic product. So those those were all of my empties for this round. I really hope you guys found it helpful. If you're looking for something new to try that you want a lot of experience knowing that it's like a fabulous product, highly recommend basically everything that I talked about. And if you're interested in anything, I'll leave links in the info box down below as always. I love you guys so much. And if you have had a favorite empty product that you've gone through recently, let me know that down in the comments and what you thought of it because it's always really helpful. And it's so different trying something for the first time and then using something up completely. So I really hope this was just really insightful and if you found it interesting, feel free to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to see more of my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!